love peace and blessings to you today sunday the last well almost the last day the last sunday of the month before the clocks change tonight um i just thought i'll just do this live um i am planning to finally go live on my youtube channel for us to have interactions based on our encounters with the corrupt organization of social services um, we know that there are a vast num numerous amount of people that have had and are still having bad experiences at the hands of social services and the judicial system so I'd like for us to get together and talk about it um, I am hoping that I can try and set aside some time on Sundays in order to do this um, because I've been approached by a lot of people um, that have had interactions with me um, that we do need to talk about it and people that are still reaching out for, for help and support. So um, if there's anybody that wouldn't mind um, joining for what would be the first YouTube live, if you want to um, be anonymous, you can um, you cannot cam up. You just have your your um, cam on, um, switched off from your face, and talk about it. You know, this is something that, based on personal experience, which a lot of you that are on my Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and TikTok will know the impact that it had on me personally with my family and based on that you know people have reached out to me dm'd me those that have my own personal telephone number they've contacted me on that to which we still communicate so i want to get the ball rolling and let's talk about it i want to talk about things of that have impacted you and how you currently are being affected. I want to know whether you feel that um, demonstrations um, are wor worth it, whether they, they play a, a, a fundamental part in bringing to light what is going on with the corrupt organisation such as social services. I personally believe that demonstrations are a good thing because how else are we supposed to get out there and let these corrupt organisations know that we are not happy and that we are not going to stand by and just allow them to continue doing closed courts, family courts. There's where the corruption starts from. So let's talk about it. Those are the sort of things that I'd like to talk about. I'd like to talk to individuals based on their personal circumstances and, you know, what's happening with them. Um, with finding a resolution within how it's impacted them and their family. How often do you get to see your children? Do you have contact at all? And may I add, I would like dads to participate in this. I would like to hear from dads as well, because it's not just um, the mothers, you know. Um, there may even be cases where, you know, um, due to... Uh, a divorce, separation, or whatever the case may be, you know, um, fathers or mothers may have been alienated from um, having um, communications with their children. So it is something that we need to talk about. And I'd like to use this platform, you know, um, i.e. my YouTube channel, to have these conversations. Um, for those of you that would be interested in it, please um, send me um, a personal message um, so that I can know that you're interested in maybe coming onto the platform to talk about your own personal experiences so that, you know, eventually when I do go up, I can send out a link to you personally. Let's talk about it. You know, this is something that we're not going to have swept under the carpet. I know that there's vast amounts of us that, you know, in our own way, 
we have um, spoken out against these criminal organisations. I will refer to them as a criminal organisation because that is what they are. They are criminals. Um, and like I said before, that they've ta they're taking our children, in my case, my grandchildren, for financial gain, you know, sh shipping them off to all and sundry that sometimes don't even have our children's well-being. So, like I said, if anybody is interested in reaching out to me personally, um, come on, let's talk about it. You know, I have, like I said in my previous uploads, I've had to take some time off because I wanted to zone back in. Because those of us that have had interactions with these people is very, very tiring and traumatic. We're still going through the traumas as a family. We're experiencing gang, gang stalking from all different files to try to cause distractions. Because criminal charges still need to be met for, the, for them kidnapping my grandchildren for over seven months. So the local authority, the police and the hospital need to be held accountable for what they've done to my family. And they are not going to get away with it. No body cam evidence was submitted by the police. We still to this day obviously have it. Defamations was brought against a family. And we as a family can counteract that. And as I said in my most recent upload, the child protection officer has gone able. He's disappeared. He seems to have refused to answer questions so that we can proceed with the criminal, criminal charges that we need to bring. The local authority didn't have the manners <laughs> or thought to um, inform the child protection officer team that my grandchildren were returned. But that, yet they were quick to inform them to remove them. So these are the sort of things that we need to talk about. These are the things that we need to keep going in the public domain. I haven't posted um, for a while. I haven't used my TikTok for a while because yet again, you know, um, the, when, the, when you're trying to speak your truth, the establishment try to silence you. But at the end of the day, the truth is coming out and the truth has been coming out. People are now and have been waking up to this criminal organisation from these local authorities in social services. Lying, defamation, slanderous to individuals. And as I advised, in our case, we recorded everything. If these corrupt organisations believe that they are speaking the truth, why cannot it be mandatory for them to use body cam? Why can it not be mandatory for them to have body cam with voice enhancement so we can actually hear the interactions? And it has to be mandatory that as soon as they decide to step into a person's home, those body cam has to be on. And we as a families and individuals should be able to do our own recordings if you feel that there's nothing to fear with your truth when you step into our homes and then leave our homes in order to, to, to come with your lies. So these are the things that I would like for us to get together and talk about and address. So please, anybody that's interested, send out a personal message to me, DM me, and let's start talking about it. Betho wants to talk about the corrupt organisation of social services. 
Thank you all. And enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thanks. <laughs>